John in Imperial Valley, California. You're on the Michelangelo Cedarelli Show. You know what, Mike? I guess here's my position. I, I, I'm not gay. I'm a Christian. I listen to your show, and I, I don't agree with homosexuality, but I love you guys, man. You guys are brothers and sisters, and, um, and, and I feel like the church, again, is, is being open with their beliefs. Well, I I don't know what they thought the problem was that they had to address this issue uh, and not the others. You see, that's what I'm talking about. They focus only on one issue. Now, I bet you there are a lot of church members who are engaged in adultery. I bet a lot of church members are divorced. I, I bet a lot of church members are doing a lot of things that you're not supposed to be doing according to the Bible, right? And then they go and they get forgiven and they do all that. But how come they don't focus on that? Well, you know, you, um, based on what you just said, um, if they had a homosexual couple there that were working on getting out of the homosexual lifestyle and there wasn't a repeated pattern, uh, maybe oh. that would be Now, why different. should they get out of homosexuality? You can't get out of, you know, do you think I could get you out of heterosexuality? Well, may, I'm only saying that based on your comment that there's well, you, probably... You obviously believe it, that people can be changed from homosexual to heterosexual. I didn't call here to discuss that, but since you've opened that door, and, and if you want my opinion, then I would gently give it to you. Um, yeah, and like I told you when I first called, personally, I do believe it's a choice. And... But I'm, I'm no better than you are. I'm no better than the person in the car next to me, man. I mean, I got... No, no, I, got well, well, I have to life. tell you, so I am better than you. I, I am a better person than you. Because I don't follow some mumbo-jumbo, ugly bunch of hateful uh, claimed beliefs to discriminate against people. I am better than you because I believe in full equality. I am better than you because I do not tell you that your sexual orientation is a choice. I tell you that God made you that way, or whoever you believe in, and I was made the same way. So I am a better person than you because I don't run around telling people I love them while condemning them. That makes you pretty evil. You're not a good person. I don't. I don't condemn you. I, I would. I would give you the shirt off my back, brother, if you needed it. And I'm sorry you feel. No, that you way. do condemn me because you say that homosexuality is a choice. You say that something that is innate and a part of my being is something that I can change. That is condemning me. That is evil. That makes you a bad person. So no, you can tell me that you think I'm a good person, but I'm telling you, you're not. Okay, well I'm sorry you feel that way, and um, but I Well, you shouldn't feel again. sorry. You should think about what you've done. You should think about the evil that you have perpetrated on the world in the name of religion and that you follow because a pastor tells you or a church tells you and you just start thinking on your own instead of calling radio stations and wanting people to love you because you are trying to tell them you're a good person even though you condemn what they do. I don't condemn anyone even though you insist I do and uh, I can still love someone through their problems or whatever, man, and, and I'm sorry. Well, I, I do. I, 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 let me tell you something. I don't love anybody I don't know. This is the first thing that's kind of creepy. I don't love anybody, okay, that I don't know. Okay, so get out of that. You don't love people, okay? That's number one. I don't love anybody I don't know. Uh, I can respect people who I believe are doing bad things. I can respect them as people and want to help rehabilitate them. I don't love them. I could 
you know, extend a hand to a fellow man and try to help them out of that. And I extend my hand to you, John. I'd like to help you out of this twisted belief system you have that has you condemning people. And I know you've said you don't condemn people, but you condemn homosexuality and you claim it is a choice. That is a condemnation. I'm willing to help you to get over that and to start thinking on your own. Do you want the help? Um, I'm, I am a thinker of my own, and I'm sorry that your belief system doesn't match mine, but that doesn't mean I can't love you through it. Just because we don't agree well, on... John, there's no way you can love me because you know nothing about me. You don't know me. You have never met me. You don't know my likes, my dislikes. You don't know what makes me feel good. Uh, you don't know what gets me angry. You don't know what turns me on. So, you know, you don't love me, so just drop that, okay? You can have respect for me and the work that I do. That's fine, and I thank you for that. But that does not mean that you're not condemning me for who I am. Okay, well, I disagree. I don't believe I... I don't even have the ability to condemn you, but I, I can't How, change uh, You don't have either. the ability to condemn me, but you have the ability to love me, even though you don't know me? Yeah, yeah. Exactly. I, yeah. I have no way of that's that. I know that's what they teach you at that place. And, you know, that that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you to start thinking on your own. And maybe you'll think about what we just talked about. OK, I, I, I appreciate you taking my call. God bless you, Mike. And and I'll, I'll keep listening. OK, thank you, John. I hope you do keep listening and uh, glad to talk to you. I want to talk to more people like you. We'll continue. Jesus. We're going to continue. I want to hear from all of you now in a couple of minutes. The Michelangelo Signorelli Show on OutQ, Sirius 109, XM 98.